<laughs> so who get the last laugh? <laughs> Cheer it, boo. Chit chat with cutie, that's what they said, yep. Chit chat with QT was killing. Chit chat with QT for all of this tea. What's up, cuties? Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and also like the video. I just wanted to come and give my thoughts on the aftermath of Messy as Wanda. So I'm sure you guys know now that Kiki gave an interview to Prosperity Thick Girl and she called her dad. So I just wanted to go over a few things that Kiki and her dad said about Wanda. Then I'm gonna give up my little recap on Wanda trying to pit the whole damn family against her own niece. What a hot ass mess. So during Kiki's sit down with Prosperity and Chef Don Don, she went over some of the same things that she said when she gave an interview earlier this week. But like I mentioned, we know that she took it a step further by calling her father. So the dad denied that he ever told Kiki not to come on the show. We know Miss As Wanda said that. He kept saying Wanda is who she is. And I think that's the problem, not against him, because I understand the way he's saying it, but a lot of us, if you've experienced a relative like Wanda, that's the excuse. Oh, she is what she is, or he is what he is. And it's always because of their trifling, disrespectful behavior. And I do think that it's time for Tisha to step up. Again, we know that she can't control her mother but if she lets her mom know how bad of a reflection this is on her and her children, maybe Wanda would listen. And you know what? No, she won't. Because we saw Tisha and Marceau meet with Wanda in that park. This is after everything happened when she ran her ghetto ass through the parking lot of Madani. And there's been no change. There's been no change. So with people like that, the only solution is cutting their ass off. And I know Tisha probably will never do it because that's her mom, but sometimes you gotta give them a time period and maybe she'll get the hint then. Look, I'm not even talking to my daughter because I keep embarrassing her. You know, I'm not saying don't talk to your mom for the rest of her life, but some type of consequences need to happen to Wanda's messy, ghetto, gutter rat ass. It was also revealed that Wanda is always comparing herself against some of her family members. I definitely believe that. Uh, the dad did mention that she always tried to make it like some sort of competition or always compared Tisha and Kiki. We've seen that. But what tripped me out is when he told the story that Wanda called the police, said that he threw Tisha out the window when she was a baby. Wanda came out and denied it, but that's not something that somebody would just make up. And I'm just questioning, was there any substance abuse issues in the past with Wanda? Because a lot of people like that that were possibly doing some things back in the day, um, they seem to can't remember all the bullshit that they did. But he said that when the police came, they let Wanda know 
that if she called them again, they would lock her ass up. And I wish they would come lock her ass up now because what she doing should be illegal. What purpose, what thrill, what joy are you getting by getting out here and putting your niece on blast? And the daddy said that Wanda is not wrapped too tight. And the next thing that he said really proved that. So he was talking about when he went to go to see the MLK tribute and statue and memorial in Washington, D.C. And he was excited about it. He was telling Wanda that he met Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s son. And Wanda told that man that she's more of a celebrity than MLK Jr.'s son. And if she think that, from being on social media and making an appearance on Love and Marriage Huntsville a handful of times. If she thinks that she's more of a celebrity, he's absolutely right. She's definitely not wrapped too tight. But he said that he never ever suggested uh, for Kiki's mom to get a AB abortion. He said that never happened. He did say that Kiki's grandfather wasn't too happy that Kiki's mom was pregnant, but nobody suggested that she have the AB. And we know that Wanda have said that a thousand and one times. And that's disgusting in itself because why would you say something like that about your niece? Why? She's here. She's born. She's living in the land of the free. And whatever you feel like was said back in the day, is that really important? Kiki is in her 40s and you're trying to prove, Wanda, that people said that she shouldn't have been born. Like I said, it's some screws loose up there. It really is. Because how is that important? She's here. You know, it's just her way of trying to hurt her niece in such a manner. And this is someone that Carlos chose to be on this show. And look, I don't expect Carlos to know every damn thing about Wanda, but from what she's shown us on social media and the show, there should be no possibility of her ever being seen on Love and Marriage Huntsville again. But let me go ahead and get back to Kiki's dad. And he said that that was absolutely ridiculous for Wanda to say, and I totally agree. I did like uh, Kiki and her dad's talk on Prosperity's channel. Um, you guys know in my video a couple days ago, I was saying how I didn't want to see him on the show because, you know, it's not going to serve any purpose if he comes on the show and goes at it with Wanda. We're kind of over that as far as Wanda and her trifling ass ways, but he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He came out here and defended his daughter and Wanda was upset. So after she caught wind of that interview, Wanda damn near was hyperventilating. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. And what's going on with her mouth? She takes her tongue and licks from the side to the center to the corner. I mean, it was so weird to see. But she had the nerve to come out here and be upset that Kiki put her brother in it. That's his damn daughter. And I know you not upset for him taking up for his daughter the way you have carried on on this show when it comes to Tisha. But Wanda rallied up all the troops, okay? Wanda had a brother that lives in Atlanta on the phone. She had a cousin over here, a sister over there, trying to get everybody to agree with her bullshit. And she kept saying, I can't believe he fell for this. I can't believe he fell for this. Fell for some shit that you started that his daughter finished. He was supposed to. But child, she kept saying she didn't have any reason to be jealous. She said she got four cars outside and all of this mess inside her house and all. 
who cares? It's not even about that. The one thing that you are jealous of, Wanda, and I hope you hear this, is Kiki is on love in Mary Chanceville. That's what you're jealous of. That's what you don't want. Because you haven't given anyone any valid reasons why you have this issue with Kiki. None whatsoever. What else could it be? She's a grown-ass married woman living her life. Whatever issues she experienced in the past does not have a direct connection to you, shouldn't bother you. If her husband is okay with it, if she's went and got the treatment that she needs, what's the problem? How does that concern you? See, Wanda is so hell-bent on making this girl look bad. And a lot of people question me, but I said before and I'm going to say it again. I think Wanda was behind that Home Depot, like she kept saying, that Home Depot information being leaked out here. I think that was Wanda. Some people don't agree with it. Wanda said that she didn't, but I'm sorry. All will be revealed and I can guarantee you this. All fingers will point back to Wanda. That is my opinion only because Tiffany really has no motive. Tiffany does not have any deep, deep hatred in her when it comes to Kiki. And for somebody to do that, you gotta have some hatred. Who's showing the hatred? Messy Earth Wanda. But let me go ahead and get back to what she had to say. But then Wanda went on to stoop any lower, if that's possible, and she kept screaming, Kiki is still on that shit. And the way Wanda said it, you would think Kiki was a damn crackhead or something. I mean, it was just ridiculous. She went on to talk about how Kiki has a college degree and she's not doing anything with it. Wanda. We watched your daughter do the same damn thing. Her husband, Marceau, even said he thought she was just going to keep it hanging on the wall for decoration. Your daughter was begging to work. So if Kiki is not doing anything at this time when it comes to her college degree, how soon you forget that your daughter was doing the same damn thing which is nothing with hers. She stooped lower by talking about Kiki, not feeding her child, talking about if he hungry, stop what you doing and go feed your baby. This damn lady ain't got enough yet as far as keeping folks kids name out your mouth. Kiki's kids look nice and well cared for and healthy and everything else. And here goes Wanda trying to put this narrative out here that the girl is a bad parent. The girl, excuse me, woman, that is her niece. Unbelievable. And then her messy ass took it so far as to go up to a drug place to ask them how much is it to be tested per day. So now you're questioning if she's going and doing drops. You're questioning why. You're saying that she's still on that shit. You're talking about her being a mother. Why are you so concerned with Kiki? We know why. Because Kiki gonna outshine Tisha right on this very show that your ass haven't been seen in this season. Thank you, Carlos. I hope you keep it up. So I just really don't like how Wanda is trying to villainize Kiki I don't like it at all. She was questioning the paternity of Kiki's siblings, trying to make it seem like Kiki's mom was sleeping around and all of that. She's just a gutter hood rat. She really is. And let me get into real quickly this next aunt, Betty. Now, I'm sure you guys seen the clip that will be shown tonight of the scene with Stormy and her mom, Stormy's cousin, and his mom. And I thought it was absolutely ridiculous 
how Betty put that man's business out here and said that Stormy bailed him out for $15,000, bailed him out of jail. And I'm sure that this has been talked about amongst the family, but for Betty to put that shit out on national TV, I would never speak to her again if I was her nephew. I mean, let Stormy handle her business, Betty. She grown, it was her money, and she could have told her cousin that. I'm sure maybe she said something to that extent, but it wasn't on TV. And his mom was ready to pop off and put them paws on Betty, and I don't blame her. Enough should be enough when it comes to Betty and Wanda. And that's one thing that a lot of people don't like when it comes to Carlos King because he's shortened Wanda's time. People are saying that we may still see her in a scene or so coming up, but he removed her to add Betty. It's the same damn thing. And I'm sorry, I've had tiffs with some of my nieces and nephews, having one now with one that I hold very close to my heart. You think I'm gonna get on YouTube and say some shit about that? Absolutely not. You think I'm gonna get on Facebook or get on Instagram and make a post about it? Absolutely not. For these women to be the elders of their niece and nephew and for them to carry on like they do, it is ghetto as hell. And look, I don't condone violence, but if Wanda especially is not careful, somebody gonna put them paws on her ass. She's too messy. Now I'll give Betty a little credit. She's been reckless with her mouth, saying shit that proves that she has some jealousy within her, especially the things that she said about Mel, but she didn't get down and dirty like Wanda. Wanda gonna find her ass toothless, and she may already be, allegedly. But anyway, guys, everything that I just said was alleged. I will be going live tomorrow night. I hope you guys will join me. Let's discuss the episode. Let's also discuss your feelings about Wanda and Betty. So I can't wait to see the rest of the scene with Betty, Stormy, and uh, Betty's sister and son. That way we'll be able to talk about the full ratchetness. But anyway, guys, just wanted to bring you guys a quick little video. It is Melody Cherie Rogers Day, and I am so proud of her. I know it has felt like a burden has been listed because again, who, as far as the ex-wife, will want to walk around with Martel's last name? So she did that. Hopefully you guys will celebrate her in some way for today. And I am hoping that the cameras will be rolling at Mel's event. Hopefully we'll get some sneak peeks and behind the scenes on Instagram. But thank you guys again for joining me. If you did not like the video, please hit the like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.